Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan. If you're new here, welcome. I do videos on functional planning using the Franklin Planner system and a little bit of cloth and paper. If you're returning, nice to see you again, welcome back. So in today's video, I have two binders to unbox and show you. I took them out of the box because it was really big. So because I'm an affiliate with Franklin Planner, I did get these binders for free. So every now and then, um, they asked me uh, what products I would like to review, and I chose these two. So, without further ado, let's get started. So this here is the Sierra Sage Brush Color uh, Classic Binder with one and a half inch ring. And this one, is the black onyx, I think, um, and a binder from Franklin Planner as well. This is real leather. This is simulated leather. They are both one and a quarter inch rings. Oh gosh, oh, I just love how leather smells. This one does not have a leather smell because it is not real leather. So I love these binders so much. I also ordered the Sierra um, Desert Rose color, Desert Rose. So when that comes in, I will do an unboxing as well. So let's do this one first. So as you can see, it's a strap. And it reminds me of the vintage Aurora binders where they are also a strap. So that's what appealed to me. I just, I love the strap. Okay, so let's open it up. Oh, it's a little bit stiff because it's brand new. Okay, so all of the Franklin um, binders, Franklin Covey binders come with two page lifters, the black ones. Okay, and it comes with this little card in here. We take pride in bringing you planning tools crafted of the finest materials. Each detail is designed to help you reach your greatest success. And it gives you some basic care instructions. So with this one, avoid moisture, extreme temperatures, and prolonged exposure to direct sunlight. Yeah, so it's the Sierra Simulated Leather Strap, one and a quarter inch rings, the Sage Brush Binder. Okay, and now let's take this out. Now, as you know, I'm not a fan of the one and a quarter inch rings. So I will be... I will be um, putting one and a half inch rings in here to see how it does. I'm a little concerned that the zipper might get in the way. Um, I was intrigued by this layout with the pockets being on the side. Reminds me of the Filofax. I've never owned a Filofax, but that's what this reminds me of. So it's got a, a full pocket here and then four pockets here. And I like how wide they are. So it looks like they're going to be able to fit wider cards than, let's say, these ones. So if I put that in there, yeah, see? Tons of room compared to here. Let's measure. So these are... Looks like just under four and a half inches. Four and a quarter inches, you could say comfortably that you could fit something in there that's big and then this one here is about three and a half inches so uh, no not quite three and a half because the stitching the, the, the half is right on the stitching so you'd be under three and a half I don't know my I know my quarter inches my half inches three quarter inches I don't know all the ones in between so that's what that one looks like. And then this one again is just under four and a half. So it looks like a, an inch bigger on these pockets. So that's nice. Oh, this opens very easily. I don't even have to hold the binder. And so this, I believe goes the whole depth. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. Yep, so it goes the whole depth. So you can fit whatever you want in there. I don't really use my zippers. So in my Vintage Aurora, you can see, see, 
I have to really pull. The zipper's very tight on the vintage Aurora binders. And, oh, okay, I have some business cards in there. So I guess I do. I have business cards in there, and I have business cards in the outside. And I also have some wipes for my glasses or my computer screen in there. So that might be what I use. That might be what I use that for. I'm not sure yet. I do like this pocket on the back. Now this is the whole depth. So you can put a notepad in there or stickers. So that's kind of cool. And of course it comes with the two pen loops as all Franklin um, binders do. Franklin Covey binders do. And there's no zipper or anything on the outside. It's very soft. It is quite structured, actually. It's not bendy. I like that. I like a structured binder because then when all your papers are in it and, and pushing it down, um, as you're writing, it's uh, nice and, and solid. It's not bendy. So yeah, I like that. And it looks good with the silver. I'm probably going to order one and a half inch silver rings. Um, for the binder and I'm just seeing if the rings are all lined up it looks like they are I've seen some people on the Facebook group say that they get some wonky rings when they get their binders that hasn't happened to me yet so hopefully it doesn't so yeah that is the sage brush the new Sierra simulated leather binder so we'll see how the one and a half inch rings do I in my um, my Anna so I have a couple Anna binders here oh how'd this one get dirty I'm gonna have to clean that so the Anna binders come with one and a quarter inch rings as well. So what I did with my blue one, as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I put my one and a half inch rings in here and it's perfect. I love it. I can fit everything in here and it's, it snaps perfectly. So this is the footprint, just to give you an idea. This is one and a half inch ring. Um, footprint is that the right word I'm looking for so then as you can see it does widen it a little bit so I'm a little bit concerned because hopefully this is all in cam on the camera here it looks about the same as this one in terms of the width so I hope the one and a half inch rings fit I may do that before I finish filming this video yeah so we shall see, we shall see. So, I don't know, I think if the Anna can do it, the Sierra can do it, right? All right, so let's set that one aside for now. And it looks like the footprint of this one is the same as the cognac color. Yep, so it's the exact same width, exact same size. The sailor blue is a little bit wider. I was kind of hoping the black one would be too, because I do like the width of the blue one, but that's okay. Alrighty, let's open this up. She's pretty. Take this stuff out. Now that I, um, I have the Teresa Collins binder with the clear page lifters, I have not used the black ones yet since I've been using the clear ones. I just put the clear ones in each of my binders. This will look really nice with gold rings, eh? What do you guys think? And the zipper on the Anna's are so smooth and so easy to open. I love it. So it's got this pocket here. It's got a pocket, a full depth pocket here. Okay. And then it's a secretarial pocket here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six business card holders plus the clear. And then it has, just like the Vintage Aurora, it has full pocket here and here, and then two little ones. And then you've got your two pen loops. So this is definitely more stiff because it is real leather. Um, yeah, it's nice. And has this zipper on the back, which I actually don't use. It's very easy to open. I guess because of this flap, I don't know, it's just not as... 
not as user friendly, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. I might, I might use it. Oh yeah, it's pretty and smells so good. So this is the Onyx, the black leather, the Onyx Anna binder in the classic size, which is half letter in case um, you are not a Franklin Planner user and not sure what classic means. That is the half letter inserts that fit in here. Okay, should I try the one and a half inch rings? Yes, I can. Okay, just want to make sure that they were easy to access. Do I have my tool? Yes, I do. So you'll need a hex, a hex, um, oh, I think that's what it's called. It's the two, it's the two millimeter. Is that what that is? The two millimeter. And all you do is put it in the little hole there and then you take the screws out. Okay, so we got the rings out. Now I'm going to steal the rings from this Anna binder. I guess I don't need to open those, do I? And here we go. Now the, so I took these gold rings from one of my vintage Aurora's. I have the teal vintage Aurora as well, but the gold screws don't fit in the holes. So these silver screws are the ones that came with this Anna binder. So let's see how it works on this one. I don't know if I like the black and gold. What do you guys think? I love gold so much, but I'm not sure how I feel about it on this binder. Okay, so those are the one and a half inch gold rings in the Onyx, the black Onyx Anna binder. Let's see how it closes. Hmm, not bad, just like the blue one in terms of how it changes the width and how far onto the pockets it folds. Not bad. I've tried to downsize to one and a quarter inch rings and it really does that, that quarter inch makes a big difference for me. So I definitely need my one and a half inch rings. You know what? I do like the gold with the black. If only, if only you could exchange um, other hardware to be black, but with inserts in it and deco and things like that, I don't even think you would notice. What do you guys think? Do you like that? Gold and black. Hmm. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to take the rings out of this one and I'm going to try them in the Sierra. Okay, so I have the one and a half inch rings in the Sierra binder. Oh, you know what? Mm hmm. I'm worried that the strap might not be big enough. I might have to just, as an example, put all my inserts in here to show you. But this is how it looks on the top. It's not that bad, eh? But it might be a little bit snug when all the inserts are in it. We shall see. And you know what? This binder does have a bit of a smell to it. It's not leather, but it's kind of like leather. Not to say that I would do gold in here because I do think the silver looks really nice with this pale kind of, I don't know, what is this, like a bluish green? You know what? It kind of reminds me of the Amalfi Coast color from these transparent page flags from cloth and paper. It's like a very beachy green, which I love. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to speed this part up and I'm just going to put all my inserts in it to see how it looks. Okay, let's close it and see. Sure looks pretty, doesn't it? 
Okay, so the question is, can the strap stay closed? So it can close only just well that, well yeah see it's not like you pull it and it stays it does kind of pull back a little bit but i don't mm, i wonder if it'll hold so that's how it looks inside it's not bad not bad at all yeah see the more as i'm handling it see how it's it's um pulling back but you know what? I don't think I care. I think that it's worth, maybe you just have to train it. Let's see how it does with a pen though. Because it's, the inserts are holding the pen loop. See how it's holding that pen loop down pretty flat? Yeah, as soon as I put the pen in this, I did feel that move. I only carry one pen really in my pen loop. But let's say I was going to put in another pen. How would that... Yeah, see that came open pretty easily. Let's see here, I put that all the way down. Okay, let's try again. Oh, this is disappointing. I love this binder so much. So as I'm handling it, it's gonna go in my bag and come out of my bag. I can see this slipping off. See how easy that comes off? I can see that. If only they made the strap a little longer. I can see that being a nuisance. Not sure that I care that much, but it might bother me over time. It might bother me over time, but oh, is it pretty. It is so pretty. I love it so much. And look at how these colors, so I'm thinking for spring and summer, I have three great options. Right now I have my blush pink vintage Aurora. I have the sagebrush binder, the new one. And I have the blush pink Teresa Collins. These are great options for spring and summer. And then the next one that's coming, um, hopefully later this week, is the, the other Sierra, Sierra, Sierra binder, which is the Desert Rose. And I think that might look really nice for summer too. What am I doing? I'm getting so many binders. How do you use them all? One per month, I guess. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. I may have to get the larger. I think the silver is going to look best with this. But look at how these colors just match so beautifully. Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I love these dividers. By Franklin Planner. Oh, see, look at that. Oh, I just can't even get over how beautiful this is. It's like a match made in heaven. Seriously. Yep. Yep, this is this is gorgeous. 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 Okay, so now what I will do, I'm gonna take my inserts out and I will put them in the black Anna. So I'll put the one and a half inch rings back in there and I will show you, um, I'll speed this part up and I will show you how it looks with one and a half inch rings. Rings, oh my gosh, I can't speak. One and a half inch rings with it full of inserts. So I'm learning that you have to have the screws that came with the binder need to be the ones that you use to put in your rings because not all of not all of them are created equal. And this one is still a little loose, but I'm not going to spend any more time on that because I'm not going to stay in this binder, not for summer. So that's something I can figure out later. Okay, so now I'm going to put all of my inserts in here and let's see how it looks. So this is the Anna, the new Anna binder with the one and a half inch rings. 
Oh, I don't know if this is going to work because as soon as I try and close it, because it's so much more narrow than the blue one, this, it, it, the pen loop is getting in the way. Yeah, look at that. Wow. You can see how my inserts, or not even the insert, that's more the dividers, want to hang out. It zips up fine. It totally zips up fine. But it just a, seems to be a little too short here. And the pen loops are in the way. So the first pen loop, is it's flat. So as long as they stay flat, you're okay. But not if you want to carry a pen around with you. Well, that's a bummer. That's really too bad because I really wanted the Anna binder in black. Because, you know, classic black, right? You're in a very important meeting. You know, black just goes with everything. And it's really good for any time of year. Hmm. Let's see. So just put a pen in here. I mean, it can work. It's just, it's just tight. That's all. Yep, it can work and it, ju it just lays on top. And because it's a snap, it's not a strap, it'll, it'll stay secure. So if you don't mind the strap, your um, dividers touching the strap, if you don't mind that, then it's okay. And you know what? I don't think I care enough because I love the binder too much. And I definitely cannot downgrade to a one and a half, or sorry, one and a quarter inch um, rings. I just can't do it. So I'll make it work. It's a little disappointing, but it's not a deal breaker. It is not a deal breaker. And how amazing do the Carrera inserts look with, let's get one that's not written on yet. How beautiful is that? Just neutral. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, that is, that's a wrap for this video. Stay tuned for my next one where I, um, I have the black version of this one coming. This is the Teresa Collins um, Planner Love. Is it the Planner Love Collection? Oh, I thought it might say on, on there. Does it say on there? Nope. Um, I, I have the black one coming. Okay, so I'll do a review on that one and I will put one and a half inch rings in there as I've done the one and a half inch rings in this binder and it's in it. It, it fits really nicely um, and it's wider than the the black and the cognac Anna binders so it'll work and I also have the Sierra uh, desert rose coming as well so stay tuned for those two videos plus I have a couple other haul videos coming I've ordered quite a bit of stuff so I can't wait to share it with you guys um, yep so that's it if you yourself would like to get any of these products so the newest ones that Franklin Planner has is the um, Sierra binders in the sage brush and the desert rose color, and then the um, Onyx black Anna binder with one and a quarter inch rings. So use my code buy sell plan. You get 15% off. The quality is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm just I can't wait to I can't wait to put these in circulation. Reach out with any questions at all. You guys know that I'm here for you and I'm happy to chat and, and um, you know, talk planners all day long. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.